pie. Um, right, today we're in Cheltenham, which uh, is bang smack in the middle of uh, two coal zones now. And uh, I'm, I'm here today to talk about what we've been doing um, in the area, um, as have many other different groups. And uh, to basically say that we're on the eve of the cull now. We're on the eve of the cull. We need people out in the fields now. If there is anybody who isn't already going out set checking or set surveying, uh, please, please do volunteer. Your help is needed. Uh, Gloucestershire is going on for another year. Uh, hopefully it will be the last year, but that isn't necessarily the case. So we've got the whole of Gloucestershire to cover again this year. Um, Emma's going to talk about Badger Office and how we set that up and you know what we've been doing with that um, as a collective. But we've also got two new zones immediately adjacent to Gloucestershire. One is Herefordshire and one is the North Cotswolds. Um, we are also wearing another hat. We're, we're three county SABs and we uh, sabotage the hunts in all three areas and we know a lot of the sets in all three areas. And I'm just seeing away from Cyrus Street Street Legal Hunt Watch, another group who uh, are in the area as well. Um, and all the SAB groups who operate within the three zones, uh, we've seen for years, we've seen the set blocking um, we've had reports in the North Cotswolds of people going out four o'clock in the morning and blocking badger sets. These are the same people who are chuntering on about controlling badgers. So they're going out there, they're blocking sets, they're not disinfecting the quads, they're not disinfecting the terrier's feet, they're not disinfecting their own feet. And then we're talking about foxhounds and about 80 odd horses going across these areas, going from field to field, from wood to wood. And this is in all three zones. Uh, the Lebbury, who operate within the uh, Gloucestershire zone and the Herefordshire coal zone, um, are prolific offenders at uh, set blocking. Uh, we've been out there about six in the morning, waiting for them, and we've caught them doing it. They've run away very fast. Um, but we've caught them doing it with the Heathrop, uh, who hunt across the North Cotswolds in Oxfordshire. We've caught them doing it. Uh, North Cotswolds, Cotswolds, Beaufort, BWH, they're all set blocking. And the reason they block sets is to stop a hunted fox going into that set to seek refuge, because it's bloody difficult to dig out a badger set. So they want the fox to run and run so everybody gets a nice ride uh, and the thrill of the chase, etc. Et so there you are. The very people that are involved in these culls are out there hunting foxes. And we've seen what's happened, uh, the allegations made um, uh, and the uh, appalling evidence of the South Herefordshire hunt. All these people are out there disturbing wildlife, killing wildlife illegally, and they want us to believe everything's going to be hunky-dory in a government-sponsored car. It isn't going to be. Uh, people are needed out there in all three zones right now, tomorrow, this afternoon, when you go from here, there's nothing to stop you um, go going somewhere and checking. So please, please volunteer. Um, there's some leaflets here from North Cotswolds against the Cull. Um, has anyone, anyone got any of those with contact details? Um, if you go to this gentleman here, if you're not already involved, um, <coughs> Gloucestershire come to me and Pete here will go and speak to him about North Cotswolds. So please, please volunteer. The other thing, um, the other reason we're saying this as well, is they put peanuts and cages out about a week or so before the cull. We, find cage, we found cages 10 days before the cull starts. More cages and the more peanuts we find, the more effective we're going to be and the more badges we're going to save. The more people on the ground looking, the better chance we have of saving more badges. Because those cages are there for 10 days in order that the badgers get in there, eat the peanuts, and 
get very used to going in there. So they'll put a lot out to start with and they'll kill the most within the first couple of nights. So that's why it's really important. Mid-August, it, it's all hands on deck. But we don't know that this started unless we're on the ground looking. We really don't. So really, it's a red flag now to get out there. And as I say, there's still lots and lots of surveying to do. People have been doing it all over the winter. They came straight from the, the last curl, and they were out the next day starting set surveying in the new zones. And can you give them a round of applause for that? Yes. That is Woo! absolutely brilliant. Thank you. So please sign up. I appreciate, um, and like to say as well, we cannot be in the field. It's, it's uh, coming up to the fourth year now. We can't be in the field. We can't do what we're doing without those fantastic people on the keyboards doing the freedom of information requests, doing the petitions, the letters, and the fundraising. We can't do any about that. It's teamwork. It's pure, pure teamwork. So a lot of people here might think, oh, I can't get in the fields. I can't, you know, I can't get to a zone. That's absolutely fine. But please, please think about uh, fundraising. Online auctions are brilliant. Um, whatever you can do, maybe dog sitting for somebody who's coming to the zone, something like that. It's all incredibly valuable. Um, I mean, we had people sitting in cars. It's absolutely fine to sit in a car, list of bridge numbers, sit on a junction. You're needed, absolutely needed, wherever you live. If you live a long way away from any of the coal zones, and I appreciate if you're up in Newcastle, it's a hell of a long way to come, but sooner or later, they're going to be culling badges there. Sooner or later, it's going to happen. And not only that, the illegal persecution of badges, the people going out there and badger baiting and laying snares, poison, etc. That's going on all the time. So wherever you live in the UK or Ireland, uh, check out your local sets, find out where they are and protect them, check them regularly. And that's what I, you know, that's what I, my, my um, idea is anyway, other people have uh, different ideas. Um, just want to say as well, maybe we could meet up afterwards and have a chat about stuff um, here after the after we've all sp finished speaking. Um, and that's about it, really. Thank you very much.